Welcome everybody, boys, girls, members of staff, family members. Welcome to the Craighead Primary School Easter service. I'm delighted to be able to bring this service to you in your own homes. Normally, I'd be welcoming you into the church, just as you so often welcome me into your school. Today, we're all in our different houses. But if we all take part in this service, then we are remembering that we belong together as the Craighead Primary School team. Last Sunday, a number of the boys and girls who normally come to church were asked to do some colouring in. We wanted photographs of them waving palm branches. And um, you're about to see the amazing results, all of the artwork from last week. We did this because we were remembering the day that Jesus rode into the big city of Jerusalem on a donkey. And the people, the crowds in Jerusalem, waved palm branches like flags because they were so excited to see Jesus. And they shouted out, Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! So I want you to imagine that you're there in Jerusalem, part of that huge crowd shouting, cheering, and you're going to see the amazing pictures of the kids with the palm branches. And then the words for a song are going to appear. It's a song you know, we've sung before many, many times. And uh, you can even choose to join in by standing up and sitting down at the right time. We're going to sing Allelu, 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 Alleluia. And you can follow Josiah for the Hallelujahs and follow me for We'll Praise the Lord. We get it right most of the time. Well done. I hope you did some great singing. While you catch your breath, we're going to have a look at some scenes from the last week of Jesus' life. These were created by some of the folks in the church and uh, they tell the story of what happened from that noisy Palm Sunday until the day that Jesus died and then when he rose from the dead. And all of these stories can be found in the Bible. So have a look with me at six different scenes. This shows the temple in Jerusalem. Jesus weeps because the people there don't understand how much God loves them. Here we see a table that has been overturned. Jesus whips because people were being unfair and cruel to others. Here we see a quiet scene. Jesus withdraws and he spends time 
with close friends. Here we see bread and wine, but also a basin and towel. Jesus washes his friends' feet and he shows them just how much he loves them. Here we see a cross with the words, it's done, complete. Jesus wins. The cross looks like Jesus had lost, but when he rose from the tomb, the cross made sense. Jesus had done everything to show the world how much it was loved. Jesus welcomes. And here's a resurrection garden scene. When Jesus rode from the dead, he wanted the whole world to know that they could be friends with God, that everyone is welcome. We're going to sing again and uh, this song reminds us why Christians, people who believe and follow Jesus, why they celebrate Easter in big style. They believe that Jesus is alive and that he gives new life. So this song is a favourite at GOMAD and at SU camps, so some of you will know it. We've even sung a variation of it at our Christmas school service. You'll need to be on your feet to sing this one and uh, join in all the actions for everybody, everywhere. Jesus was worried. Worried about his friends. Worried about what lay ahead. Worried if he'd be brave enough to do what he needed to do. Jesus had just finished eating the most beautiful meal with his friends. And then he went to a garden to think and to pray. He told three of his friends how he was feeling and he asked them to stay awake with him. Jesus went a little further into the garden and knelt down to pray. Jesus cried out to God, please help me. I'm not sure I can do what you need me to do, but I will do it. Jesus was scared and tired, so he went to his friends only to find them snoring. Peter, James, John, could you not even stay awake for me? Jesus went and prayed again. Father, if there's any other way, please show me. But if this is what I need to do, 
I'll do it. Jesus went to see his pals again. They were sleeping again. They just could not keep their eyes opened. A third time, Jesus went to pray. And a third time, he found Peter, James and John sleeping. This time he said to them, Come on, let's go. It's time for me to do what needs done. The one who is going to betray me is here. That's when they all saw Judas. He was one of Jesus' friends, but here he was with soldiers and they were arresting Jesus. All of Jesus' friends ran away. Jesus was taken to a really important person to be put on trial. His name was Caiaphas, the high priest. People made up all kinds of lies about Jesus and the high priest was angry because Jesus claimed to be God. He decided that Jesus must die. Now, who could authorise that? Only Pilate, the Roman governor. Pilate listened to the story of Jesus and he thought Jesus was innocent. So he asked the crowd if they wanted to let Jesus go free. But instead the crowd shouted, no, free Barabbas. Who was Barabbas? He was a murderer. But the crowd shouted, free Barabbas. And then they shouted, Nail Jesus to a cross. Jesus was taken by Roman soldiers. They beat him up. They made fun of him. They pushed a crown of thorns on Jesus' head. Then they made Jesus carry his cross to a place called Golgotha. And they nailed him to the cross. People shouted horrible things at Jesus. The sky turned black for three whole hours. And then Jesus cried out to God, My God, my God, why have you deserted me? Then he died. Soldiers watched as Jesus died and one of them said, This man really was God's son. Jesus was wrapped in cloth and put in a tomb. A large stone was rolled against the entrance. That happened on the Friday. Let's call it day one. Very early on Sunday morning, day three, two women, both of them called Mary, went to the tomb. While they were on their way there, the earth began to shake. The soldiers who'd been guarding the tomb to make sure no one stole Jesus' body fell down like they were dead. An angel rolled the huge stone away. Then the angel spoke to Mary and Mary and he said, Don't be afraid. I know you're looking for Jesus, but he's not here. He's alive. The angel told the woman to go and tell Jesus' friends he was alive. The women were terrified and delighted. They hurried from the tomb, desperate to tell everyone what they had seen. Suddenly, right in front of them, was Jesus. They bowed down in fear. But Jesus said, don't be afraid. Go and tell my friends that I'll see them in Galilee. The second garden with the empty tomb. That first garden shows us that Jesus is like us, sometimes very afraid and not knowing if we can be brave enough to do the right thing. The second garden shows us that Jesus is bigger and more powerful than any of us. He is bigger even than death. He can help us with anything. 
we've time for one last song. And I think it's a new one for the school, but we have sung it at Go Mad before. So some of you will recognise it. It's really easy and it reminds us that the Bible says God is able to do anything and everything, that there's nothing that he cannot do, that he's big and powerful and that he loves us. Esther's going to help me with the actions in this one and I want you to join in too as we say nothing's too big, big, big for his power. Nothing's too big, big, big for his power. Nothing's too little, little for his care. Nothing's too big, big, big for his power. Nothing's too tiddly, little for his care. Nothing's too big, big, big for his power. Nothing's too incy, wincy for his care. the very end of our school service time together, you're going to see um, an Easter scavenger hunt. See how you got on with it. It might help you to remember bits and pieces of the Easter story as we find it in the Bible. For now, I just can't wait to see you all again. Remember to stay safe and remember that God loves you. And if you want to join in this closing prayer, then you do that by saying Amen at the end. Jesus, thank you for being brave and going to the cross. Thank you for loving us that much. We're amazed that the stone was rolled away as you rose again. Help us to remember something about your story as we decorate eggs, roll eggs and eat chocolate eggs. Amen. <laughs>